So in this fourth question of the second exercise, we have been given a number which is 31Z5, which is a multiple of 3, where Z is a digit and we'll have to find the different values of Z. Now to answer this question, we'll use the concept of the divisibility rule of 3, which says that if a number is a multiple of 3, then the sum of the digits of that number will have to be divisible by 3. So if we consider the sum of the digits of the given number, let us see what are we going to get. So basically we'll have 3 plus 1 plus z plus 5 and if we consider the sum, we'll be getting 9 plus z. Again, we are going to assign different values to z such that the sum would always be divisible by 3. Now for that to happen, let us first consider the first value of z. If we assign z to be a 0 because this will result in the sum to be 9 plus 0 equals 9. Hence this sum is divisible by 3. So definitely 0 is a valid value of z. Now the next value of z which we are going to consider will have to be 3 because then the sum would be 9 plus 3 that, e that is equal to 12. We see that 12 is again divisible by 3. So then the value of z which we have taken is justified. The next value of z would be 6 for which the sum would become 9 plus 6 equals 15 which is again divisible by 3. Hence, z equals 6 is also one of the values of z. The next value of z would be 9 because of which the sum would result in 9 plus 9 equals 18. Now since it's given in the question that z is a single digit, hence we cannot assume any further values of z. So to answer this question, the different values of z which are possible are 0, 3, 6 and 9. So these are the different steps through which we can find these values of z. This is how we are going to answer the fourth question of this exercise. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.